Back at the situation that Spain was in when Franco died in 1975. In fact, if you look back on the history of Spain for the last 200 years up to about 1980, this was a country in permanent turmoil, in permanent turbulence, losing, staying behind, keeping behind, losing its empire, losing its position all over the world. From, let's say, the restoration of democracy until yesterday afternoon, so to speak, Spain has re-established itself as a very significant, very important, very influential and very much admired figure on the European stage. There is absolutely no reason why this very, very unfortunate situation should last a very long time and there is no reason why Spain should not recover its previous position, and by which I mean the position it had until, so to speak, yesterday afternoon. Absolutely none. Spain has achieved commercially, financially, in culture, in sport, in every area that you look at, in architecture, Spain has achieved amazing things over the last 30 years or so. So I'm very optimistic for Spain. But I think that there are elements within the Spanish personality and there are elements within the Spanish achievement that Spain could underline. And if you want to have a word that describes the way Spain operates, I think the word is probably passion. It is a very, very passionate country. It's true that it may well be hubris. It may well be that Spain was a bit too confident you can argue that, you can argue all kinds of things, but this is not, it's not the disaster that many people claim that it is. It is not like that. Spain is not like Italy in the sense that it has no sense of direction. Spain has a clear sense of direction. Italy, which is a wonderful country, which I hugely admire, does not have the same sense of direction and does not have the same sense of self-faith, self-confidence that Spain does. So I, I do think that the opportunities for Spain over the next few years, it may take five years, it may take ten, are very considerable. Look at this business school. It is one of the, the world's great business schools. Unimaginable that that should be the case 30 years ago. Unimaginable that Spain should have one of the world's great business schools. You couldn't, nobody could conceive of such a thing. <laughs>